In this video today, I will show you how you can get a little bit more real estate here for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. What I mean is we can actually make our screen a bit smaller so that we can see more from the viewer and you can just work with a little bit more view in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. So this little hack, what I mean with this one, I will show you in this video. Okay, in order to get more real estate, what you have to do, you have to actually come to the settings and here in the settings, you have to go down until you see here display and brightness. And then you scroll all the way down here to display zoom or sometimes it shows advanced. What we want to do is we come in here and instead of the default zoom, we want to have the more space. But be aware, not every iPad has this setting. So for example, if I come here to my iPad mini seven and I scroll all the way down here, I don't have this setting. I'm not 100% sure from which iPad this started. I think it started with the iPad Pros, the 11 inch from I, I think the M1, maybe even the one before. If so, if you have one of these models, then you should be able to also have this setting. And what it does, more space, we say done, use more space. Now it will render with a higher resolution the whole iPad. So everything now would, will be a little bit smaller from the icons and everything. And if I now go in to DaVinci Resolve, it will load DaVinci Resolve new. You can even see now it, it made it even smaller because we have a bigger screen now. And let's come back in here to open the inspector. So what you will notice is that every line, like the texts and everything, will be a little bit smaller. If that is still okay for you to work, what you will end up is having a bigger screen. So let me show you this. I made some screenshots from before and after. Okay, so this is the screenshot with before the setting change and this is the screenshot after the setting change. To show you what I mean, if I, for example, come in here and I place my Apple Pencil exactly here to this position and I move, you can see now, this is the piece that we got bigger here on that side. And if we do the same here, this is the inspector. So the inspector is now open, roughly that position. Now you see the inspector moved a little bit more to this. So what it means in total, our viewer got bigger and everything is like we have more space on the whole um, on the whole DaVinci Resolve. The same, of course, works here on the bottom. If I take this one up, because now everything is a bit smaller. I mean, you can always make if you come to the edit page, you can always make these tracks bigger and smaller, right? This is not new, right? Something like this. But even now here in the cut page where it's usually a bit bigger, now everything turned out to be a bit smaller and you just can place more stuff on your real estate. I hope you found this one helpful. And if you want to bring your editing skills to the next level with DaVinci Resolve, I created a DaVinci Resolve starter kit. In this starter kit, you will get some transition packs, animated titles, some fonts, and a lot of different visual effects, like even my custom keyboard shortcuts that I usually only give in my DaVinci Resolve masterclass so that you become a faster video editor. Also, we have a seven day challenge for beginners. So if you're an absolute beginner, I encourage you that you start with that for learning DaVinci Resolve here on the iPad. So if you found this one helpful, hit like, subscribe, and ding a ding a the bam bang gong. And we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.